So where are we in the vastness of the universe? Well, from our perspective, we're at the center of it, because when we look out, we can look out in every direction, and there's a limit to how far we can see, because we believe that the universe itself has is only a little bit under 14 billion years old, or at least has been in this state that's about when the Big Bang was. And then since light has a finite speed, we can only see the light that has gotten to us. So we have a limit, and everything that we can see within that we call the observable universe. Now closer to home, Earth is in is real tight up next to its star, the Sun, which is just one of about 250 billion or so other stars in the Milky Way galaxy. So we're in what is called the Cygnus Orion arm, and that's just one of the arms of our spiral galaxy. Zooming out from there, our galaxy is part of a group called the Local Group, I know, not very imaginative name, um, of other galaxies, and we're one of the two largest ones in that group, so Andromeda is the other really large one. And then from there, we can zoom out again, because our local group is one of many, many groups in a far larger structure, which is our supercluster, Laniakea, which is just huge. It actually means um, immeasurable heavens in Hawaiian. From there, that's only a small little section of the observable universe. And if you keep zooming out, you get to a point where you can't even see individual galaxies anymore, right? And what we see instead are what looks like these long filaments of matter, which are actually clusters of galaxies, and then these planes of dust and gas between the two. Um, and so we get these huge filament structures that end up looking a lot like a web. And there's these massive gaps between the webs we call voids, huge, huge distances where there's almost nothing. But it's really quite beautiful. It looks, some people think it looks kind of like neurons or like mycelium, web, or a sponge. But in all of it, we're tiny. 